Hello everyone. So in this video, we will see the bibliometric citation analysis process in detail. We'll start with the method and we will end in outcome followed by analysis design and software. So first of all, we have this bibliometric analysis technique and the simple one, the simplest one is the citation analysis and it could be two types. Citation analysis is basically the analysis of simple counting of citations of an article. And it could be two types, backward and forward. Backward means that you analyze the articles cited by an article. So maybe you have an article published in 2010 and it has cited many articles published before 2010. So analysis of those articles that has been cited by the article published in 2010. So this is backward analysis and it could be forward analysis. Maybe there was a paper published in 2005 and now it's 2018. So by this time, this paper has been cited many times. So you analyze the paper which has cited that paper it published in 2005. So that is forward analysis. And then we have visualization. And it could be co-citation. It could be bibliographic coupling, co-author, and co-word. Okay, so the idea of co-citation is that when two articles are cited together by another article, those articles are likely to be similar in themes. For instance, article A and B are cited by article C. So that means that article A and B are supposed to be similar because they were cited together by article C. On the other hand, bibliographic coupling is that two articles cite the same article which means that those two articles are could be similar because they're citing the same article so in this case article a and b are citing article c that means that article a and b could be similar because they are citing the same article and co-authorship analysis is that you analyze the co-authorship in the in the field like who are writing papers with whom and this kind of things and co-word analysis is you are analyzing the keywords the articles with uh, having similar keywords are, su are supposed to have the same theme and co-citation and quad analysis can actually lead to factor analysis to find out an intellectual property of a of a research field and then we have content analysis which can be conventional directed and summative i have mentioned an article below the video so you will see an article on content analysis which can give more detail about these methods so in bibliometric analysis only doing the citation analysis and visualization is not really often enough to get it published in a good journal like yeah so it, 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 it is always a good idea to couple different methods for instance bibliometric and content analysis doing these two together are bibliometric visualization and content analysis for coupling these three together so you have to do this kind of approaches and you can find my papers on ResearchGate and you can follow how we did it. So, yeah. And in terms of software, for simple bibliometric analysis, you can use basically Excel, BibExcel, Citrix, or His Site. And His Site also provides visualization, but it is kind of limited, but it still provides something that's quite okay with the GraphMaker tool. And then you can use Voss Viewer, you can use SiteNet, SiteSpace, SiteNet Explorer, Gethy, Pyag, UCNet, iGraph in R. So all these provide a good visualization. For content analysis, you can use Excel or NVivo. Both of them are fine, I think. And as an outcome, from the citation analysis, you would find the top articles, top journals, and top authors. And from the other kind of analysis, like visualization and content analysis, you are likely to get this intellectual structure of a field, diffusion of knowledge in the field and development over time, emerging articles in the field, if the field is interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary, the impact of collaboration of researchers and conceptual dynamics. And in vivo, content analysis using in vivo can also help to find contextual dynamics in the field. And remember that the outcome is always reflecting the methods used and method is reflected by the research questions. So all these are connected and to understand this better you look at our previous video on the steps in bibliometric analysis thank you for watching if you find it useful please like comment share and subscribe to your youtube channel